In this video, we're going to create the presentation and classroom seating layouts in the Paris Ballroom. Let's start by creating the presentation seating. We will use the Create Objects from Shapes command from the Modify menu to convert a base rectangle into a seating layout. Double click on the rectangle tool in the basic palette, set the width to 47 feet and the height to 36 feet. Make sure the top center control point is set and the position at next click option is enabled and then click OK. Zoom in on the front of the stage and place your cursor over the bottom midpoint of the curved stage plug. When the midpoint cur smart cursor cue appears, press the G key to create a datum point. We will use the datum point as a reference. Press the tab key to activate the floating data bar. Continue to press the tab key to cycle through the fields in the floating data bar. In the length field, enter six feet and then press tab again to set the value. Move your cursor down along the vertical green extension line until the length align HQ appears. Click once to place the rectangle. With the rectangle selected, go up to the modify menu and choose create objects from shapes. In the create objects from shapes dialog, set the object type to seating layout. Make sure the show properties dialog is checked and the delete source shapes option is unchecked. Then click OK. Now in the object properties dialog, enable the concentric option and click OK. A seating count worksheet will appear. Close the worksheet window. You will notice the seats are focused towards the middle of the rectangle we just drew. So let's go ahead and adjust the focus point for the seating layout. Activate the selection tool and click once on the blue focus control point. Move your cursor to the middle of the stage and click once to move the control point. In the object info palette, click on the class pop-up menu and choose new class. Name this class seating dash presentation and click OK. Set the seat spacing to two feet and the row spacing to three feet. For the section name, Enter Presentation Seating. Uncheck the Draw Boundary Line option. Now let's choose a chair symbol. Scroll down in the Object Info Palette and click on the Select Symbol button. In the Choose a Symbol dialog, select Defaults under Symbol Folders and click on the Symbols thumbnail. Choose Chair 4 and click OK. Next, we're going to edit the base shape of the seating layout to add two aisles through the seating layout. Go ahead and activate the rectangle tool again and enable the three point rotated mode in the toolbar. Zoom in on the top center of the seating layout. Place your cursor over the front right chair. When the end point Q appears, click once to start the rectangle. Move your cursor to the left and then press the tab key to activate the floating data bar again. Tab over to the length field and enter three feet. Now snap to the intersection of the dotted red extension line and the base rectangle for the seating layout, and then click again. Move your cursor down and snap to the center of the right interior column and click a third time to complete this rectangle. Switch to the selection tool, then click on the top center blue control point for this rectangle and move up slightly until it is past the edge of the base rectangle and then click again. Now use the mirror tool to create a mirror duplicate on the other side of the seating layout. You can use the top center of the base rectangle for the mirror axis. Now let's use these two rectangles to create the aisles. Select both of these rectangles and the seating layout. Right click on Windows or Control click on Mac on the seating layout and then choose Clip Surface. Delete the two rectangles. Now we have three separate seating layouts with an aisle in between each. Finally, we're gonna go ahead and reshape the two outside seating layouts to remove the back row. Double click on the seating layout on the right to activate the reshape tool. Click on the bottom right blue control point, move your cursor vertically about three feet, 10 inches, and click a second time to reshape the seating layout. Go ahead and repeat this action for the seating layout on the left. You can now switch to a 3D view and render in OpenGL again and review the seating layouts. 
go back to a top plan view when you're finished. Now let's create the classroom seating for the ballroom. We will use the create event seating command this time from the event design menu to create the seating layout. First, turn off the presentation seating layout by setting the seating presentation class to invisible in the navigation palette. Select the original base rectangle we used for the presentation seating layout, and then in the object info palette, click on the center control point, and then set the width to 50 feet. Click on the top center control point of this rectangle and snap to the bottom midpoint of the curved stage plug and click to move the control point. Now click on the bottom center control point of the rectangle and snap to the top corner of one of the interior columns. Then click a second time to move the control point. With the rectangle selected, go to the Event Design menu and choose Create Event Seating. Under Seating Arrangement, choose Classroom. Set the seat spacing to 6 feet and the row spacing to 7 feet. Name the seating section Classroom Seating. Click on the Seating Symbol thumbnail and choose the Table 6 foot by 2 and a half foot in Chairs dash 2 symbol. Now click the Customize Symbol button. Set the Render Mode to OpenGL in the Customize Symbol dialog. Then if you have render works for the chair attributes, choose the Textile Upholstery Dark RT Texture. And then for the table attributes, choose the Textile Hopsack Tan RT Texture. Now change the fill color for the table to a tan color. Click OK to save the changes to the symbol and then OK again. When prompted, choose Automatically Focus for the Focus method. You will notice that the tables are focused on the lectern on the right side of the stage. In the Object Info palette, click the Focus Front button to change the focus to the front of the stage. Click on the Class pop-up menu and choose New Class. Name the class Seating-Classroom and click OK. Now we have two separate sets of seating layouts, one for the classroom and one for pre the presentation. Finally, switch to a 3D view and render it OpenGL so you can go ahead and review the seating layouts. You can toggle between the presentation seating and the classroom seating by simply changing the visibility setting for their classes. Make sure the seating-classroom class is visible and the seating-presentation class is invisible, and then switch back to a top plan view.